Continue this mod contains content. content, please. Select an appropriate setting. What the? <laughs> Censored, uncensored, Madden. Why is there a Madden option? <laughs> I'm gonna click it just because. Uh, sure, let's go Madden. And also not uncensored because not a kitten, frick off. Yo, Monica. Oh, hey, I'm seeing. What's up? Nothing much. Alright. I throw my bag across the room over to my usual desk and it's on its way, it hits another desk, collapsing it onto the ground. MC, what was that for? It got my bag to the desk, didn't it? Pick the desk up. Pick the desk up. <laughs> Don't imitate me. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, Monica. <laughs> wow. And you're the sincerest form of idiocy. Pick the desk up. Fine, fine. Damn, I been <laughs> so sassy. Oh my god, yep. I bend over and shake my little perky butt at her, hopefully teasing the crap out of her. <laughs> I pull up the desk and blow a raspberry her way. <laughs> she rolls her eyes, obviously irritated. I take a seat at my desk, put on my headphones, and begin staring at the uh, staring out the window. Yeah, this is friggin' boring. I want to go home. For on this way, what? Um. No, don't watch prawn, just watch <laughs> Taking a look at the <laughs> uh, yes, Schmidt. <laughs> Taking a look at the club, I notice that the percent to air ratio is at a is at an all-time low. I take off my headphones and hiss at Monica. Did you just hiss at me? Yeah. I don't get you. Me either, but <laughs> I like it that way. Where is everyone anyway? I don't know. Wait, actually, Noski's been out for the entire day. Apparently, she fell down some stairs and bruised her body. Oh, ouch! I really hope we really hope that she's going to be okay at the infirmary. Me too. Hmm. Convenient, Yuri. Yuri's at the nurse healing some paper cuts. Oh, and Honestly? Yuri's at the uh, in she's sorry. Um, she's also at the infirmary as well. Okay. Yeah, apparently everyone's just at the infirmary. But I wonder what the heck happened to Sayori at this point. Hmm. Honestly, go ahead. Honestly, I could stand and go to the nurse too. Why? I just feel sick for some reason. Sick of your. <laughs> Sick of my crap? Okay, I I completely understand why, considering that I'm acting like a like a douche right now. <laughs> huh? Me too. Weird. You know where Sayori is? I think she's at a home improvement store or something. Home improvement. She shop shopping for something, I guess. Some rope. Oh no, not the rope! Not the rope unless if she's gonna go mountain climbing. <laughs> okay, bad thought, bad idea, I don't know. <laughs> she needed to get some supplies. That leaves the two of us alone in the club, it seems. Sure. I pick up my bag and start walking towards the club's exit. Hey, where are you going? Home. There's no one at the club. I'm at the club. Like I said, no one. <laughs> okay. You will sit down. No. I said you will sit down, that's final. Wow, so threatening. Ooh. I'll tell Sarah where all her missing underwear went off to. <laughs> what? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Fans Whoa! Or something you want to tell us? Whoa! Um, no. There's there's nothing I want to talk about. <laughs> um, okay. 
Um, no wonder why her um her garments are gone missing for some odd reason, and I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I I return to my seat and land on long side. Fine, I'm here. God. Why do you even steal her panties anyway? Okay, okay, hold up. What? <laughs> what? Very question is how would Monica know? Yeah, how did you know? How did I did uh, how how I I Yeah, how did you know? How did you know I do that? I don't even have Kazuma's power. Like how? <laughs> <sighs> I don't steal her panties. That's weird. Steal her bras. What's up with yeah. this dude? What? <laughs> yeah. What? What? This freaking guy. And yeah. That's like, not weird. I mean, it's less weird. Arguably. <laughs> Arguably. <laughs> so, why didn't you steal them? I steal them to practice on hooking them. Oh yeah, since I remember last time that those things are hard as a Rubik's Cube, but uh, oh. <laughs> the Transformers I have are way better than a bra or a Rubik's Cube. Oh yeah, uh, that little interlude you had in um, Blue Skies, that's right. <laughs> yup. Oh uh, yes, yeah. Oh, for all the sexual counters you don't have, right? Hey, I get around, and I even yeah. did tier 15 with her, so there's that. Round, round, you're around, now you're yeah, get around, around, get around, around, now get around, get around. Your hands don't count. Uh, look, I'm prepping myself to make some moves on some girls, and you know, hopefully I'll get lucky. Uh oh. What? <laughs> oh? Which girls? Anyone I know? Anyone in the club? Ma, uh, you, you guys, while cute, are a bit of base for my taste. Base! It's, uh, I'm not, I, I can't, I, I, I don't know if I should say based or not, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by off base? You're all a bit too quirky. Yuri's weird and obsessive. Natsuki's way too annoying for her own good. You. I. You are amazing and perfect. <laughs> and way out of my league. Really? Okay, fine. You're a bit too uptight for me. That makes sense. I would be a bit too. I'd be a bit too much of a slacker like you. Yep. Wait, what about Sayori? What about her? You know the girl's absolutely in love with you, right? Yeah, I know. Of course. <laughs> you don't? Of course I do. I'm not stupid. But, uh... She's my friend, and she's a really good friend, don't get me wrong. But the idea of dating her is just boring. What? After after all the romantic stuff I've been doing with her, and now it's just getting boring. Wow. <laughs> I didn't really felt that way, Finn. Yeah, but in all honesty, it, 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 that's not me. That's not me. It's not boring. <laughs> but but this dude, wow, like, oh god, oh my god, this guy. Like, it would be too healthy. And um, that's bad? I'm young, Monica. I want to do dangerous things. It's like if I date Sayori, like, I'm expected to put a ring on her, you know. It's a bit too much pressure for what I want. In a weird way, I get that. I'm... Guessing you've been in a similar situation? Wow. Monica pulls up a nearby seat and pushes it to the opposite side of my desk, leading her sitting across from me. There was this one guy from the debate club. 
he was a really good guy. He was smart, talented, and really dedicated. He was really good looking too. We had tangible chemistry and we had all the fun we had all the fun with each other. But But he was a bit too safe for me. I already spend most of my time not taking any rest. I study hours upon hours every day. I participate in a large amount of extracurriculars. I'm always the teacher's favorite. I live life ideally. I don't go to any crazy parties. I don't take any form of dangerous substances. Heck, I don't even eat fast food. If I dated that guy, who I was somewhat attracted to, I'd just be repeating the same pattern I've been following my entire life. I'd just be doing the best thing for me, but I don't want that. I want to date a guy that makes me feel alive. I want him to make me feel crazy and passionate. I want him to make me do things I never would have thought of doing. Oh, wow. Well, that's something. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. Not so tight now, am I? I guess not. So you want to be with someone dangerous? They don't have to be dangerous per se, but they have to be. Also, that's not how you spell per se, but whatever. Per se, yeah, that's yeah, that's not how, how that's spelled. They have to be interesting. They have to be a risk. Uh, huh. <laughs> that's probably why I'm kind of into you. Excuse wow. me? What? what? Yo, I had a feeling this was coming. Yeah, <laughs> that's unexpected, but I, all right. I saw, the, I saw this train coming around the bend, but all right, let's get let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. I'm into you. That's very flattering. I'm hey, flattered. Wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I read your line for you. Oh, you you heard me. I'm into you. Oh, you said that's really flattering. I'm flattered. Okay, that's what you said. Yeah, You're sorry welcome. about that. I'm not into you, though. What? I'm sorry, I'm just not into you. How? What do you mean, how? I'm just not. I'm literally perfect. Wow, self-centered much? MC, I'm smart, I'm talented, I'm well-spoken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my glob, stop fake snoring! <laughs> well, I'm not sure you noticed. I have amazing, perky tits. I'm a <laughs> He up for the booba! I have a tight, curvaceous ass that wrinkles my thighs. Aw, detail, but appreciated! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, I'm just dying on the inside right now. <laughs> no! And speaking uh. of my thighs, my glob, my thighs are thick and ready to crush. <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh. Look, I get that. I absolutely understand that you're a goddess. Oh, I just accidentally hit my key. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just not that into you, Monica. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really offended, MC, and I, don't, I could be friends with you. I don't think we're friends in the first place. Ooh. Ouch. We're at most acquaintances. <laughs> da, da, da. What? Body blow, body blow, uppercut. <gasps> body blow, body blow, uppercut. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Ah, ow. I'm seeing, I'll be honest. I was ready to bend down right now and go to town on your. Uh, on your. On my. On your thingy between your legs. <laughs> My thingy? Is that what we're calling it? 
yes, you're thinking. It's all the penis, Monica. Uh, in other I, words, wiener. <laughs> what? I know, what it's, I know what it's called. I just don't want to say it. After everything you said, that's where you're drawing the line? I know you talked you talked about the booba, you talked about the behind, you talked about yeah. the eyes. Like, and, mm. and now you're talking about my wiener. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Deal with it. Cup harder. <laughs> I'm dealing with it. So So did you change your mind? I'm not a son, Monica. I won't change me. I won't change my mind if you offer me stupid. What? No, 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 no. He's like, I have, I have standards. Gosh darn it. You exactly. Can't. I have standards. I even, I dedicated my loyalty to Sayori and the. I am my, my I'm i my mind is racing right now. Like what the heck? You're <laughs> pulling this crap on me, Monica. Shame on you. Exactly. Like what? What? I I, I have nothing else to say. Um, ah, it was worth a shot. I appreciate that you took it. Okay. Uh. Uh, she lets out a long and uninterrupted sigh. Really, MC? You feel nothing towards me? Z sorry. Who is this magic girl who's gotten your attention and you're somehow turned your face away from my majestic beauty? Or my magnificent beauty, rather. Oh. You really need to keep that ego in check, Monica. I worked hard for this body. I deserve to love it. All right, all right. Let me show you a picture of the girl. I whip up my phone and tap on a bunch of apps until I reach her profile. Oh, well, that's neat. Yeah, that was actually pretty clean. It is. Hey, yo, what the? <gasps> <laughs> was that Madden Hub? <laughs> I can't with this mod. I can't. I can't with VA, man. I can't. We can't. Yeah. You guys are too much. You guys are too much for me. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So we got a picture and the other one. Okay. I show her the picture of the girl who's named Miyuki, and suddenly her face transform transforms into one of utter disgust. Miyuki. Really? What? She's odd. I don't even know her, who she is. She looks exactly like you. And you told me I had an ego. I'm sorry. I'm pretty. I can't help it. What? Hmm. And look, Monica. She has amazing boobas. <laughs> They're like pretty big, but not super big. They're in between your perky, but not too big boobas, and your Israeli big booba. What's wrong with my booba? <laughs> Dude, they're fine. That's <laughs> just not my style. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what? My, my booba are amazing. <laughs> I acknowledge that, but I don't like him. And so I am not attracted to you. Monica looks so fed up. Yes, she is so fed up with our bullcrap. Well, not us, but this guy, jeez. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this slander. She takes a stand, kicking away the chair she's sh she's, she was sitting on. Oh, I know it's about to come up. Oh. I know exactly what's about to come up. <laughs> oh. If you know, then clench those butt cheeks. <laughs> that was weirdly traumatic. You know what, MC? 
Let's play a game. A game? I love games. <laughs> Unless they're from a man named Saul. Yeah. <laughs> or that and she watched too many of them. That makes sense. Great. So, you were stealing Sari's bras and I had to unhook them, right? Yes, ma'am. How about you test it out on the real thing? And how would you suggest I do that? By hooking my bra, of course. Can I just untransform a transformer instead? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the catch? Uh, there's no catch. No catch? No, actually the opposite of a catch. If you can address me, unhook my bra, and don't do anything to me in my sexual body, you can take pictures of me topless and brag about it to anyone you like. <laughs> but if you end up doing something to me, you have to date me. Dating you does sound like a catch to me. Also, what's up with your what's up with your face right now, Monica? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> She leans in close to me and bends over to get to eye level. Is it really? Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm game. Alright then. Uh, she stands in the middle of the room with her arms abducted. Undress me, Stallion. I'll let you know that I have a very average wiener! <laughs> Just take my clothes off. I shake my head and begin slowly going through her clothes. First I unbutton her blazer and slowly take it off her. Okay. Oh! Before we can continue, can we appreciate the look of this sprite? Never seen any of the Dokis without their blazers off. I think I've seen Natsuki without her blazer on, but yeah. You oh yeah, that's... Cool. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that in the... um. Uh, exit music redux. Yeah. Neat. It's a very nice sprite, though. Yeah, it is. First time seeing Monica without a blazer on. Um, I've seen fan work of it on the uh, on the subreddit, and uh, they, they look pretty good as well. I move on to her gaudy orange sweater, pulling it above her head. Her big hair did make make it admittedly very difficult, however. Oh, okay, now without the vest, and I can see a little bit of her top peeking through the, uh, the creases and the gaps there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. And guys, don't get the wrong idea, I'm just analyzing this sprite in an artistic way and not for scientifically purposes. Of course. <laughs> yes. She was left in her dress shirt, which, now I think about it, is the least clothed I've s ever seen Monica. So, like what you see? Dude, you're still in a shirt. It's a very form-fitting shirt. Don't you just want to rip it off of me? Uh... No... <laughs> no. Why don't you have some fun? <laughs> Aww. Yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> do you want me to rip it off of you? Yes, I do. Thank you for being so polite to ask. I sigh and grab her dress shirt from its buttons. <laughs> okay, um, cl clench those I butt cheeks, it. everyone. I Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Finn, um, this is, Finn, this is what I was talking about when I said Noob was coming because I saw him draw these sprites before. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, and I was like, dude, why does this look so cursed? And Finn was like, <laughs> and Finn was like what are you talking about, bro? This looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fit VA, yeah. you, you guys, man, Monica, you're looking so swole right now, and, uh, all get out. yeah, 
<laughs> man, you should definitely audition to be in JoJo, man. Like, dang, you're so small. I know, with a body uh, like that. Heck yeah. <laughs> Uh, hopefully she doesn't have her stand right in, right next to her, but... <laughs> and also, I don't know if I could show this or not, but still, I can see her, you know what, peeking through. Yeah, I'm still going to censor those. Shut up. <laughs> She's left in her green lace bra, which shows off a generous view of cleavage <laughs> of you. Even I can appreciate. However, I notice an odd detail around her belly. Besides the extra flat, extremely fit look, there's also a bunch of marks. Oh, yeah, I can I can see that there. What's up with that? So, oh, can we keep it in your pants? Uh, it's becoming more of a bit of a struggle. Okay then, big shot. How about you take my tight? Uncomfortable bra off and let these puppies loose. <laughs> Seems like you're the one who can't keep it in her pants. I reach my hand around her back, getting uncomfortably close to her. Her chest squishes onto mine while she knows she shows no shame in giving me an ex an extremely lustful look. I find I feel so dead inside right now. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, oh my lord, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, what are we doing right now? <laughs> Sorry, you Jake, don't look. Yeah, Jake, please don't don't look, don't even also you not to kitten, look away. <laughs> Using my previous practice, I'm able to fiddle with the clasps and with ease take off the bra. What? Huh? What's going on? <gasps> what? She's tr she's transforming the sailor moon. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh! This is, this is what happens when you pick Madden. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh! Oh, Monica! You look so. Hmm! You look so attractive than before! <laughs> hmm! I'm glad I don't have the need to censor this! <laughs> I know! I yeah. Do. I'm filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment, thankful that my thievery was warranted. <laughs> oh, uh, I can see Monica's bare boobas or whatever. Hmm, that's uh, it's it's quite a view right there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, MC, that was gone. It seems that practice came in handy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um... So, how are you feeling? How are you coping with this magical view? I itch the inside of my ear while looking at... Looking straight at Monica's perky booba. Uh... Nah, sorry. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this, but... I I don't want to I don't want to or something I don't know but MC's based MC's based. <laughs> to, to, to quote some of our other friends, MC is indeed very based. 
<laughs> yup. <laughs> nope. Really? My bear booba are out. You can touch them, squeeze them. Thing. I know. And you feel nothing? Z uh. Just my luck. Monica shamefully walks over to the chair she had kicked away only a few moments ago and takes a seat. Her booba do bounce a little, but uh, ironically, the, it isn't very titillating. Uh, it's a very funny fit. I like the wordplay. <laughs> yep, so clever. You really feel nothing. Sorry, Monica. Is this something I'm doing? Do I need to be more assertive? Less assertive? No, no, you're okay. I'm just not into you. I acknowledge that you are attractive, but I'm not attracted to you. That's okay. <laughs> I pull up a nearby seat and sit next to her. <laughs> oh, Monica Madden, this is just the cursed thing I've ever seen next to the hanging alive Sayori sprite Jeebus. <laughs> uh, so, are you gonna put your stuff back on or? You were my shirt, and honestly, I'm not in the mood to put my clothes back on. In my defense, you asked me to ruin your shirt. I know. Though, I've got to say, nice abs. Hmm, yeah, those are some nice abs right there. Thanks, they're pretty cool. I don't have any abs. Huh, you accurate. <laughs> 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 yep. No, I'm not much of a workout guy. Hey, I work out sometimes, <laughs> but... <laughs> I have abs. Yeah, yeah true. Right, Sorry, did say you're more of a shut-in. You're lucky you end up winning the genetic lottery in terms of your looks. Otherwise, you wouldn't have four girls pining, after, pining over you. What do you mean, four? Sayori, you're- I'm um, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and I. We're all into you. You're kidding! No, that's why I asked whether you were interested in them or not. Huh. Well, of course, you know the latter. You're lucky, you know. How many people can get to be attractive without effort, and have people fall in love with them without effort? Says you, you're Miss Perfect. The whole school wants to bone you? What? <laughs> yeah, the whole school except for you. <laughs> oh my god. Except for the one guy who I want to bone me. Uh, I'm sorry. Yo, yeah, Monica, I forgot to, I forgot the part where I asked if I cared. <laughs> yup. We fall silent as the awkwardness takes over the mood of the conversation. I look at her stomach once again and notice the marks. What are those things? It, hey, can I ask you something? It may be a little personal. I'm already topless. What's the worst thing you can ask? <laughs> right. What's with the marks on your stomach? Oh. These? She points to one of the pretty obvious ones near her belly button. These are stretch marks. Stretch marks? There are times of scars develops when the skin grows or shrinks too quickly. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, it sure is. So, a bunch of skin stuff happening near your belly, huh? Yes. What? Were you pregnant or something? Oh! That's also the thing I've been thinking thinking about because yeah. considering... Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was starting to think that too, but I was like, we go there. <laughs> yeah, we go there. Do we? Hopefully not, <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 let's not dwell on that too much, jeez. <laughs> okay. 
yeah, actually I was. Uh, huh? It was a guy I dated in the ninth grade. We were young and stupid. He didn't put a condom on, and I got pregnant. <laughs> what? Oh my god, but I didn't know! I'm trying to hide it from everyone. It wasn't their business to know. What about the guy? What did he do? What do you think he did? He convinced his family to move away and cut all ties. So, I'm a baby mama. Oh, oh, I see. The child would have been left without a father. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you have a kid? Did she? Did she now? I was 15. MC. Sorry, sorry for interrupting, but is this clear the loon? Probably, yeah. I, I, huh. yes, I was, yes, it is. Wait, oh, Very nice. Good, hmm. I haven't heard from this one from somewhere that I know. <laughs> I did things I shouldn't have, and I... I had a miscarriage. Oh. Crap! Monica, I, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I, I don't know what to say. Are you okay? Is there anything I can do? Uh. I'm seeing. Yeah? I'm messing with you. <laughs> what? Oh my freaking yeah. gob! Yeah, you were joking? <laughs> yup. Of course I was. <laughs> I wasn't dating any guys in ninth grade, you idiot. Wow! Wow! <laughs> you got me worried for nothing back there. Yo, this is some absolute baboon mentality going on here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, shout, Monica. Shout <laughs> this is some craziness right here. Yup. Yup. Shout outs. Shout outs. You scared the crap out of me. Why? It's not like you were the hypothetical d dad or anything. Well, it's it's called empathy. Anyway, why am I why am I an idiot for thinking you you could date any guys in the ninth grade? You're hot. I wasn't back then. Why not? Don't you remember? No? I was fat back then. That's why I had the stretch marks. Aw. You were? Yes, you dumbass. How am I supposed to know that? You used to talk to me all the time. I did? Uh... You don't remember? No. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't you come in the tenth grade? You really don't remember, hmm. do you? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I I do look really different. And back then, you only knew me by my last name. Your last name? Well, what is it? I wrecked my head thinking of people I used to call by their last names back then. Who are the teachers? Some of the people with really common names and... No way! You're- What? What? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Monica Fisher. Monica Fisher? I, I'm not gonna lie, I think that might be a, a fitting nice name. Well, you know, I, I think they're keeping with the continuity, because remember, if you remember in um, Exit Music Redux 2, the, yeah. her degree on the back wall said Monica Fisher. Oh, oh yeah, that's where that's where that's from. Okay, I, so it's what? I was thinking like, it's a nice callback and continuity for the 12 days of Christmas here. Oh, 
the plot and lore and lore thickens. <laughs> Wait, did I say that? I always wondered where you went. I thought you left. No, it's me. I'm Fat Fisher. That makes sense, actually. Sayori always talked about you as if I was supposed to know you, and she got really bothered that I didn't. Man, you really lost weight. You're two years late, buddy. Look at you! I'm so proud of you! You're always so you're always cool back then, and it was a real shame that people used to dismiss and bully you. You were smart, uh, you were funny. I'm happy that people can finally appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, everyone except for you. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Cause yeah, I can relate. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I'd have to lose weight for that. But you know how people can be. Yeah, people can suck. Uh. Uh. Now you're probably wondering why you even have a crush on me in the first place. I forgot you existed. No, I'm not wondering. You did call me smart and funny after all. Well, you were. Were? Are. You are smart and funny. That's better. She giggles. <laughs> I... Uh... Back then, people weren't very... kind to me. I was a smart one, the teacher's pet, and on top of all that, I was fat. So, as you probably remember, I was bullied. The oink noses, the, the oink noises aren't, weren't pretty. Oh, that's just mean, bro. Damn. Ouch. Man, yeah. Don't remind me. The only people who were ever really kind to me were Sayori and you. You guys make coming to school a lot more bearable. Your support encouraged me to take charge and to finally shed the weight. If it wasn't for you guys having my back, I... I wouldn't be Miss Perfect today. Your guys' kindness back then was everything to me. Sorry I was the only girl who didn't see me as a punching bag for all her insecurities about her body shape. She was always really good to me. And you? You were the only guy that saw me as... a girl. I remember. Sayori used to get on my butt for making fun of you all the time. The thing is, the thing is, you were making fun of me about girl things. You tease me about overthinking my wardrobe, my need to put on makeup, how, stress, how I stress myself over my hair. You are making fun of me. You are just teasing me. It wasn't good fun. It was better than being called a ball for the 15th time. Yeah. Well, don't give me too much credit. It was mostly Sayori. She forced me to be nice. I was mostly just along for a ride. Wait, does Sayori have an iron grip on you or something? <laughs> Very funny. Sadly, I can't have a crush on Sayori. Why not? I'm not gay. You're not lesbo, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So, you're in the next best thing. Honestly though, I was like everyone else when it came to how I saw you. I was just lucky to have Sayori to straighten me out. Otherwise, I would have been as much of a jerk to you as everyone else. Uh... Huh. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh... Monica, why do you like me? Because you... Because you're a risk. You're dangerous. Really? Uh... No. It's because you were good to me, back when no one else was. Is that really enough? 
I think so. Well, what about the debate guy? Was he nice to you back then? He wasn't in the school back then. Would he have been nice to you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on! There's a bunch of fat people in the debate club. How does he treat them? He treats them well. Then, why don't you like him? It's not that I don't like him. It's just... Uh, uh, wow. Why do you like Miyuki? Um... Like is a strong word. I like her bufa, her body. Her? Not so much. Wow. I don't really know her, actually. But I don't care to know her either. Huh. You're the worst. Yeah, I am. Which is why I'm so confused on why everyone's into me. In all fairness, you're pretty nice in the club. That's because Sayori's there to reel me in. Mm. Sayori, huh? She seems to have a lot of control on you, doesn't she? It's not control, okay? I mm, trust her. Sure. <laughs> 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 yup. Yeah, no, I don't know what it is. I trust her. I trust that she has the right perspective on things, and so I tend to follow her advice. If you trust her so much, then why don't you like her? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... Uh... So, uh sorry. M Monica's smug look helps me come to a realization. The Shay. We sigh in unison. <sighs> Huh. What is wrong with us, Monica? I don't know. MC. Yeah? Why don't you want to be with Sayori? Is it really because of the commitment? Uh, I mean, I love her, so, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Wow. I don't know. It's just I'm I'm a I'm a douche, man. Like a real douche. And she's so nice. I don't deserve her. I don't deserve someone who's so good. She loves you, I'm saying. I know. But what if she's wrong to love me? The reason I can be good sometimes is because she guides me. She can guide me if I'm being crappy to her. You're being good to me right now. Dude, I left you topless and unsatisfied. <laughs> You're listening to me. You're comforting me. You're being good to me. Maybe. Why did you want to be with the main guy? <laughs> He's gone. He's really gone. I like him. I like being with him. He makes you feel wanted, he makes me feel... special. Then, you should ask him out. But what if he doesn't like me as, as much after he gets to know me? What if he sees me topless and doesn't like the scars? Then, it's a risk, Monica. Isn't that what you wanted? Mmm, touché. Hmm. Oh, and Will. I don't mind the scars. I don't think anyone else will. I hope so. Though, MC, if I have to ask him out, you have to ask Sayori out. If it's like, oh. sign me up, bro. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> you read my mind, yes. Sign yeah, me tell up. Where, just tell me where to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, you read my mind, <laughs> of course, because you know me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and same goes for you too on whoever whoever you're dating is, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, come on. It's only fair. Uh, 
deal. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> yeah? Yeah! She'd probably be back from the store by now. Go get her, MC. Yeah, I will. Go get him too, Monica. <laughs> I will. I grab my bag and sprint to the exit of the club. Hey, by the way, Monica. Yeah, Samsi. Are we friends now? You've seen me topless, so why not? <laughs> um. Okay, I show I show Booba. You're my friend now. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> yup. That's how friendship works. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm, so good. <laughs> cool. Speaking of which, don't you want to take a picture? I did promise you one. Nah, friends shouldn't keep blackmail to of each other. That's a really healthy way of looking at things. That's the way to go. What can I say? I'm feeling healthier already. Me too, MC. Me too. Uh, eat a bag of these. Courtesy of the various artists. <laughs> and it ended. 